Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the world's fastest spinner out of Neo cubes. This spinner can go for approximately five minutes without being touched. Okay, so what you need to do is disassemble your Neo cube and get it into a long strand like this. Once you get your long strand, count out five cubes. Attach them into a circle. Then, start assembling them into a hexagon. You want the hexagon to be four deep like that. So it's going to be popped out like this because it's a hexagon. Then, since there's a hole in the middle, put one Neo cube in there. And you have the base of the thing. Now on each wall, insert four Neo cubes. And then keep on going up in a pyramid until you're left with two on the top. Now do this on every side. So start with four, then to three, then to two. On this side as well. And then on this side. And then last one on this side. You have to do it right in the middle, so count it out. When you're finished, you'll have something that looks like this. On the back side, it looks like this. Now, what you want to do is push down on the top. And then kind of bend in each of the following so it has a crease point. So once you've got that crease point down, pull it back, and then on the third row, so right here, one, two, three, on that row, pull it up and attach it down like that. So it's like this, and then push down, and do that on every single side. Now you have it on every single side, it should look something like this. It'll have little holes inside of everything, and on top it looks like that. So now, you want to get these Neo cubes and fill in those little holes on each side. It's going to take two for each crevasse. Once you're finished, you'll have something that looks like this. It's all filled in. Push them all down, make sure they're all good. On this one, I forgot to do it. Like that. So now, in the middle, it looks like this. So just fill in all those crevasses. I forgot to do one, so I just filled it in right now. So it looks like this with the pin on the top, and on top it looks like this. So now, with this strand, get five more. Like this, you have five. Now make another hexagon, but this time make it only two deep. So it's like this. Now get this hexagon and place it 
inside this little hole. It should fit perfectly and it'll clip in like that. And now there'll be a little dimple on the top. Put one more in to the top of the spin head. And now, you're almost done. Get one more. Make, take out one separate one, one little dot, and place it right in the middle of the top. So it goes like this to give it extra weight. And now, you're almost done. Fill in each one of these side holes, like so. And now you'll have another hexagon that's perfectly filled out. But, you need to add a little bit extra weight, so you have to switch sides so the polarity changed. And now clip in like so, like that on each side, leaving a space in between each one, like that. So you have something that looks like this. It kind of looks funny, has like little wings on the side. Now in between each one of those, you have to insert this and do it all over again. So you're gonna have to switch sides again. And now in between each one, clip them in like this. And they'll kind of just fall into place. And your spinner is done. If you wanna get it really good spinning, Start it off like so, but when you start spinning it, get a straw and go. Blow it on it a few times. And this spinner will stay spinning for about five minutes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and comment. Thank you, bye.